what are rates doing? Well, today I have Mandy Violu. She's with New American Funding, and she's going to kind of debunk what's going on with the housing market, the interest rates, and a whole lot more. Stay with us. Hi, everyone. I'm Erica Del Sordo. Welcome to today's talk with Erica. Please subscribe in the lower right corner of the screen. Today, we're going to debunk all of these home buying myths, everything going on with the rate and everything like that. So today I have Mandy Biolu. She's with New American Funding. Welcome, Mandy. Good morning. Thank you. Welcome. Glad to Thank be here. You. Yeah, I'm happy that you're here with me. We've been wanting to do this a while and we've got a lot to talk yeah. about today. I think it everything happens for a reason. And today we've got okay. so much to talk about. So there are a lot of people who are in the market right now for buying and selling and they're thinking, well, the rates are kind of going to be here for a while. So let me just go ahead and do my thing, right? So what are rates doing and what would you recommend to them? Um, rates have been pretty, they've been steadily going up for the past year or so, plus several months. And they, we are actually starting to see some dips, which is terrific because instead of seeing them climb every week, we're actually have seen a few breaks the past couple of weeks, which is terrific. Um, I think as we get closer towards spring, you know, I think they are going to come back down. People have speculated back into the sixes. I don't know how low they'll go, but they're definitely kind of back in the high seven range as opposed to low to mid eight range, um, which is great, you know, to save you money every month. But um, I think as we see the le the rates coming down, the people who have been waiting for the rates to come down are going to be in the market for a house. So I really think then we're going to start to see some of the kind of inventory issues that we saw kind of through COVID that, you know, all these multiple offer situations and prices, selling prices over listing prices and some of the crazy situations that we were kind of getting into in COVID times. So I think now is a great time to buy. I mean, coming into the holidays, I've actually had a really great month this month. So people are buying houses and moving, even though it's the holidays. So I think people are starting to see a little break and are starting to move a little bit. So I would definitely encourage people who are thinking about it to stop thinking about it and do something about it. And do something. I like that. So talk to me about how long you've been doing this. Give me a little bit of a background so people get to meet you, Mandy, when they call you for their loan. Sure. I have been doing mortgage loans in Lake City in North Florida for, um, this is the end of my fifth year. Actually, Christmas Eve was my first full day in the business. I was part-time a little bit before that, but so Christmas Eve will be my actual fifth anniversary. So coming into my sixth year, which has been great, but my background before that was I was in real estate business for about 20 years in Georgia. So not Florida, but Georgia and I'm um, sold real estate residential, mostly um, managed a couple off at brokerages and had my own company actually for almost two years. So, um, you know, I know the industry very well and know both sides of it. And that's why I think I'm able to help a lot of buyers who, especially first time home buyers that don't have a clue what they're doing <laughs> buying a yes. house, but also working with realtors and understanding what realtors need and, you know, their process in this whole process and how they have, what they have to do in the process and really working one-on-one -on -one with each realtor that I work with, especially the buyer's agents, um, to make sure we get to the closing table smoothly. Absolutely. And you make that so easy. That's always, oh, and you. I always recommend a local lender, which you are, and you do yes. make the process so simple. A lot of deals are not easy. You know, sometimes, sometimes you do have an easy one, knock on wood, that goes straight through and you fly through. But, you know, a lot of the times there's, there's issues that come up that you have to deal with. There's, they, the underwriter needs five more things after you've already given them everything but your first child. <laughs> right, 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 it's just, right. It's just part of it. And, you know, we have to make the loan sellable. And if we don't have all the check boxes checked, then we can't sell the loan and we can't make our money. So it's, it's you know, it's making sure that it happens for everybody. Absolutely. Now you talked about you were in real estate in Georgia for 20 years and you understand both sides of the market. Let's talk about what you and I have coming up with a self-defense defense class that we're going to do with realtors and lenders. Anyone who really deals with the general public like we yeah. do needs yeah. to have a self-defense course, um, such as the one that we're going to be doing coming in January. Yeah. One of the big thing focuses that um, realtors associations have and usually there's a month I think it's September is realtor safety month so we miss September but that's okay um is realtor safety you know you hear in the news these these realtors that go out and meet somebody and get killed and you know 
bad things happen to them. And, you know, we of course don't want anything like that to happen to any of the realtors in our area, but it's just something to be cognizant about and just to be aware of your surroundings. And, you know, one of the big things in Florida, of course, is gun safety and gun, you know, the right to carry, to carry arms. And, you know, we, Florida has the rule that you don't have to be, um, you don't have a card to can to carry but except for concealed but um you know there's a lot more to safety than guns you know i mean i wouldn't feel comfortable carrying a gun and shooting it but if somebody was coming up behind me you know i could punch them i could do a lot of other things to be able to get away and so those are kind of some of the things that we just wanted to bring to awareness to kind of top of mind for realtors and and people anywhere in the real estate industry because we all meet customers we all you know, have to be aware of that and make sure that we keep ourselves safe, first of all. Um, mm -hmm. But to be able to have those skills and know what to do when that happens. Um, mm -hmm. What kind of brought this on was we had a speaker at a, an event that I host every month called Coffee Talk for Realtors. And she's a retired cop and came and talked to our group of realtors just about basic safety information. And, you know, and several people, including yourself, brought up stories that had happened to them um you know your your story for example which i'll just summarize is it basically you didn't have time to get to your gun and if you didn't have a few skills and you know karate chops in your back pocket you would you might not have escaped and so it's really that reason that we're doing this and just just having you know one we always do we always make it fun you know we're always going to make it fun but um just to have that that uh, that space for people to come and and learn some of those you know what can I do when somebody grabs me from behind and how do I get out of that? You know, just to practice right. some of those things. Right. Those moves. So, that they're, because they're ever are put... so go ahead. You Sorry. can never be. No, I was going to say, just in case they're ever put in that situation, just to have it in your head to think about, Oh, one, two, three, do this, you know? Absolutely. And I was going to say, that's exactly what you just said in a nutshell. You can't always rely on the gun because it's not always going to no. be right there. And I always tell people when it's about to hit the fan, you're not going to have time to dig through your purse and try and figure out where you last put your gun. Um, so that's no. why I always recommend people know exactly how to throw a kick and a punch and really get out of a situation. Is it a hundred percent foolproof? No, unfortunately. Um, but any way that you can manage to get yourself out of a bad situation, the best way you can, I really say go for it. And so I thank you for that coffee talk that time. You do that Thursdays once a month at 9 a.m., which is fantastic. And mm -hmm. it really brought up something for you and I. Um, because we've all had uh, issues come up. So that'll be a wonderful thing. I'm excited. It is going to be at ATA Sepulveda's uh, Karate uh, School, the Martial Arts School. That's it. And it's January 25th from 6 to 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. And that is for realtors. They will open up. They're a fantastic school. So if the general public does want to go join them, they can always head on over there. And I'll have all the information sure. for everyone up. What else do you want to add, Mandy? Um, I just think people need to understand. I think there's a lot of people that don't understand the home buying process. So, I mean, mm -hmm. you say it as well as I say it, your first step is to come to a lender, you know, to find out if you qualify and if you do qualify, how much you qualify for. And then if you don't qualify, I'm also, there's a lot of people that I help that um, don't qualify when we first start chatting. And um, you and I've had a couple of those as well that, you know, we work toward the goal of getting them to be able to buy a home. And sometimes they have to get credit cleanup. Sometimes they need to get credit. Um, it just depends on the situation, but I've done this long enough. I'm not like the magic guru by any means, but I've definitely helped some people that have not been able to buy a house to be able to buy a house. And just, they're just taking a, a step back and kind of looking at what their situation is and giving them some pointers. You know, you can't necessarily grow money on trees, you know, especially if it's somebody who's a first time home buyer, they probably aren't making a million dollars a year and can't save $500,000 for a down payment. That's totally exaggerating. You don't need that for a down payment, but you know what I mean? That they're not saving a ton of money, but there are, there are options and people don't know what those options are. And I had a customer who was moving, actually, I think it was somebody we were working with that was moving from out of state and their out of state lender had no idea what some of the Florida products were for first time home buyers. Mm -hmm. And so them not using a local lender, they were able to get, to get the understanding of what these are and what some of the options are to be able to buy a home that they didn't know they could buy otherwise. So right. those are some of the reasons that um, 
I enjoy working with first time home buyers because it's about educating them on the process. And there's a lot of stuff and there's a lot of, I mean, there's a lot of steps and there's a lot of stuff involved mm -hmm. in buying a house if you've never bought one before, but that's why having a good realtor and having a good local lender go hand in hand to make that as easy as possible. I mean, like yeah. I even had a customer call the other day and was like, why should I use a local lender? I'm coming from Miami. I could use anybody down here, like buy a house up there but it's not the same. It's really not. And they don't know our local market. I know all the title agencies. I know all the insurance agents, not all of them, but a lot of them, you know, I know I can pick up the phone and say, Hey, it's Mandy. What about this? How's this? What's going on with that? And they know me and I know them. And that makes it so much easier to work together. Absolutely. Um, it's not, it's not so foreign. I think a lot of people are afraid. And so what's wonderful for sure. is you do make it easy. And I don't want folks to think that there is no way that they can purchase a house. There, there are many things that you can do and they might be in a better predicament than they think they are. So always talk Absolutely. to a lender. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And I think it's surprising to people that don't know what they could qualify for. Like they'll put, you know, maybe 150 on the application just to put something out there. And then when I come back and say, Hey, you could buy a $300,000 house. They're like, Oh my gosh. So I think it's just having, I mean, people just don't understand necessarily the whole process. Like I said, and it's having somebody be able to tell you, this is what you can do. And this is what you can't do. And if you can't do it, how do you get there? And that's really, that's really what um, I end up doing sometimes kind of becoming a financial counselor for sure. Yes. Yes, which is very good. And like I said, I mean, if Mandy can't do it, so I, I really recommend <laughs> everyone just give you a call to find out what they can do, because that goes both ways. They either <clears throat> lowball themselves where they think that they're only worth a $150,000 house and, and it can go up from there, or they'll put down, hey, I can buy a $400,000 house. And I, as the realtor, we start looking and then all of a mm -hmm. sudden we go to the lender at some point and it's like, you've got only $150,000 to yeah. play with. And it works so both ways. <laughs> both ways, really, <laughs> where you've just got to talk to a lender this way. We know what we're playing with. And and so yeah. you really come in and it's wonderful and she makes it so easy. And those oh, first time you. home oh, buyers are always, that. yeah, they're yeah. always scared. And, and so we kind of debunk everything and kind of sit down and have a, a wonderful, warm, friendly conversation at the table that really makes everyone more comfortable. And there's a lot of information out there on the web and people do research. But if I were to go research something, a topic that I don't know anything about, like maybe something science related or something, you know, I could go read a lot about it and I could, you know, hear what people were saying about it and all that stuff. But I still don't have a clue about it. So I have, I've had customers come to me with 50 questions about, oh, I saw this online or I saw that online or so-and-so said this, like that is nothing to do with the reality of the mortgage process. So <laughs> Reading things online, I think, I think is almost detrimental sometimes to people. Like WebMD. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I'm not a doctor and I don't play one on the internet, <laughs> but, but the same thing. only a lone yeah, doctor. I'm only a lone doctor. Yes. But the same thing, people come, you know, read all this stuff online and think they know everything about the mortgage process and the real estate process and buying a house and they don't have a clue. Mm -hmm. So it's really getting somebody on your team that knows the business like you and I you know, it, it, professionals to help you through the process is so important. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm so happy that you brought all of that up. And I will have all of your information as well within the about section and everything. So folks can find you. I'll put your right. telephone number, your email and everything. What is your website? It's NAF. NAFinc.com slash Mandy Bogey. Okay. Month. And I'll put that up. Thank you for being with me. Did you want to add anything else? I think that's it. I mean, I'm here to help people buy houses and I love that. And like I said, this month has been great. I've had people that are moving from down South, from out of state, from across town. And that's really just, I love seeing that happen and making it happen. And know, knowing that I had a small part, kind of a big part because they need the money, haha. <laughs> but um to help to make that happen and you know I really do try to make it easy it's not an easy process because there's always hoops you have to jump through and they need one more thing and you have to do this and you have to do that but I really try to make it easy and this company is phenomenal it's one of the best companies I've ever been with for sure and I have a great support team that helps me get everything through and closed and um that's what matters so but we're here to help
Anytime. Absolutely. And I've never seen you happier. So I'm happy. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> have you on the show and thank you so much for helping my customers and other realtors customers. You're fantastic. Yes. Thank you so much thank for being so with much. me. Thanks for having me. And absolutely, just please reach out anytime if you need us. Thank you. We work 24 seven, right? <laughs> yes, we really do. My phone is my friend. Mine's going off right now. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so is. much. Have a Thanks, great Erica. day, everyone. <laughs>